helper layers are temporary layers that you can put in place to change the look of your image while you're working. They are used to enhance certain aspects allowing you to notice issues or use them in your workflow. Here are the 7 most used helper layers. Add a curves adjustment and flatten the curve. Change the blend mode to color. Another option would be to use a black fill layer instead of a flat curve. This removes the color temporarily, used to get a better sense of composition and allows you to evaluate relative brightness of the various colors. Especially useful when dodging and burning as it takes away the distraction of color. Add a curves adjustment and flatten the curve at the center. Or use a fill layer in mid-gray. Set the blend mode to luminosity. The result might be difficult to see, so optionally you can add a levels adjustment to increase contrast. By removing the luminosity, we can see the color separately from brightness. Useful for color matching in composites and finding subtle color inconsistencies. Add a fill layer and set its color to a fully saturated color. Change the blend mode to saturation. Creates a fully saturated image with the luminosity preserved. Similar to the color helper, this can help you to find inconsistencies across smooth areas. Add a selective color adjustment and turn off relative. For each color, decrease the black slider to minus 100%. For the whites, neutrals and the blacks, do the opposite, set it to 100%. Shows a black and white representation of the saturation in the image with white representing more saturation. Can be useful to detect oversaturated areas, but also useful when increasing saturation to determine you are not overclipping. If you prefer a color variant, you can add an invert adjustment on top of the selective color adjustment and set the blend mode of both adjustments to luminosity. Add a curves adjustment and make a zigzag curve. Extreme contrast to pick up transitions and other inconsistencies that may otherwise not be visible. Also useful for smoothing out color and shading. Add a thresholds adjustment. Can be used by visualizing extreme highlights or hotspots. You can change the blend mode to multiply to see the colors. To see only the shadows, set the blend mode of the threshold adjustment to screen. To get rid of the whites, add a fill layer with black and change the blend range so that only the white areas below gets replaced by black. Finally, the invert helper, which can be easily added by adding an invert adjustment. While this helper is not particularly useful, it can help to see your image in a different way to catch maybe obscure details. Also, good for a quick change to refresh your eyes. There is a link in the description to an Affinity Assets file which you can use to import to your assets. Make sure the Assets panel is open and from the context menu choose Import Assets. After you choose the downloaded file, the Gaffinity category will be added and you will have something like this. Now that it is in your assets, you can open or switch to another document and use the All Helpers asset just by dragging it to the canvas. This will create a new group and from this group you can enable any helper layer you need. I also provided the helpers separately which are enabled by default. These are ideal to have a quick preview without actually applying it. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for tuning in and until the next video.